Uh, one guy that is not getting it done, has not gotten it done, is Ruzne Castillo. Um, the Red Sox waived him. He is back in Pawtucket. Was the Ruzne Castillo contract the worst one in recent memory for the Red Sox? Uh, it's not the worst. It's really bad. But there's something about the, the offshore players that doesn't bother me as much. Um, because you're gambling. This guy looks really good playing in this Cuban league, and he's built like a horse, and he looks to be good. Who's he facing in those leagues? He didn't turn out to be the next Yasiel Puig. Um, so it's a gamble. Uh, was it a bad deal? Yes, especially because he's old. What is he, 31? He's gonna be, no, he's going to be 29 next month. All right, so he's late 20s. So it's a bad deal. Is it worse than Pablo Sandoval? Five years, 95 million, and 100% body fat? No. Worse than Carl Crawford, seven years. I can't talk to the media. I can't deal with Boston. I'm melting down, even though I was a 5 2 player in Tampa. 142 million? No. Worse than Hanley Ramirez, yet to be seen. Coming around on Hanley a, a little bit, even though he doesn't have DH numbers. Um, AJ Przinsky, whatever he got for playing wow. here, I hated him. No. Uh, so it's maybe potentially it's top. Th I'll put it at top three with Sandoval Crawford, but I'll put it at number three. That being said, Ruzne Castillo, we've been at McCoy a good amount, uh, has a terrific Porsche. Have you seen it? The white with the orange. Uh, that makes me feel good about his baseball. All right. Good what Porsche. is your take on his? Uh, well, I think that it is worse. I think it could be the worst of all the contracts you just mentioned. At least with Carl Crawford and Pablo Sandoval, I could say to myself, huh, Crawford has been to four All-Star games. He's an All-Star. Sandoval is a World Series MVP and has gotten it done when the stage has been the biggest, when the lights have been the brightest in the World Series. So I'm going to give him money and hope he produces here. Ruzne Castillo, what has he done? Hmm. Oh, he looked good in shorts and a shirt that was tight. Terrific. Did he even play? Did they even see him play in Cuba? He worked out, looked like a machine. Now, I know you said it's a gamble. You have to gamble. These offshore players, you know, you don't know if there are people bidding on them. If you want right. to get them, you got to pay. I, you didn't know anything about him. <laughs> and you said he was 29 years old, 20, late 20s. He's not He's, young. If he was 17, maybe I'd feel a little different. But he was already approaching his prime. I mean, it was now or never for him. He didn't have time to come in and develop. He, the, $72 million. They still owe him more than 50. The good 70, thing about so he's is, got a Porsche. The good thing about Red Sox, baseball in general, no salary cap. Yeah. It's not our money. So bad contracts are bad, but it doesn't necessarily cripple you. No, it doesn't cripple like you. Like football or, or basketball. Could At be. least when they, when they bid on Dice K, he was a part of a World Series champion. So you can say, well... He at least did that. This guy. I Dice mean, K was good for a couple years. The I hated ball? watching him because he was so slow. But he, wasn't he 14 and one one year to start a he season? Had a, he had a couple good years. It probably didn't earn the money they it gave him. It was 50 him. for the bid to get him, and I think he had a 50 from there. All right, we close out.